Hi, friends. I know this video has been a long time coming, but let's jump right into it. First thing you need to do is to download Python. Then, when you are installing it, unclick the Admin Privileges box and click the Add to Path box. While that installs, we need to go to GitHub and download Cobra Tools. All links are in the description, by the way. Then extract Cobra Tools and let it create a new directory for Cobra Tools. Open this new folder and look for OVL Tool Guy PY and double click it. This next step isn't in the video because I already did it on my machine, but it will open a black box and ask you to install the missing dependencies. Type Y to allow this. After the dependencies are downloaded and installed, it will open the OVL archive editor. OVLs are compressed files that contain game data. There is one or more for every dinosaur. I recommend creating backup folders of your games. OVL files found in the OVL data folder in the games directory. Now that we have the OVL archive editor, we are going to click file and then open and select the OVL file of the dinosaur we want to modify. In this case, a Trotiraptor. Then what I do is create a new folder to extract the OVL contents into. So click on the Edit menu and then click on Pack All and select your new folder and let the program extract the fields. Now we're done with the OVL tool until the end. Now you could simple edit the dinosaur skin by editing the diffuse file in GIMP or Photoshop. And if you want to do that, then do it and then skip towards the end of this video to see how to inject the new skins into the OVL. I personally use Substance Painter because it puts the skin on the model and makes it much easier. What you see is what you get, basically. But to do that first, we have to get the model as an OBJ file, and we'll do that with Blender. So open up Blender and go to the Edit menu and select Preferences and then Add-ons and click the Install button. Select the Cobra Tools zip file we downloaded earlier and it will install Cobra Tools add-on to Blender to let us import and export game files. The add-on will be called Import Export Frontier. Cobra Engine Formats, make sure this is clicked. It should appear in the add-ons list. Now go to File, then Import, and select Cobra Model MS2. Then find the dinosaur folder we unpacked and select the model's MS2 file and give it a minute to import the assets. Then you want to click on the Display Mode button at the top left and select Scenes. Look under the dino's name and expand objects and delete everything except the Atricoraptor, L-O-D-0 file. You might get a pile of things at the dino's feet. When you do this, just select them from the list and delete them again. Use Shift to select all the files you want. Then export the model as an OBJ file. This model can now be used in Substance Painter. Okay, so now we're going to load up Substance Painter and start a new project with the OBJ file we just made. After the model loads, go to File and select Import Resources and go to the Dino folder we unpacked and select the PBase AO Texture. The PBase Normal Texture, A and PBase Normal Texture RG, as well as the PBase Diffuse Texture. We are going to use these to bake a curvature map. Create six layers. On the bottom layer, select the fill modifier and select the diffuse texture as the base color. 
This should color in the Dino skin, eyes, teeth, etc. Do the same thing on your top layer, but select the AO texture and change the layer setting to multiply. Leave the second layer blank. Set the third layer down to a black mask. On the fourth layer, select fill and use the P base normal texture A as the base color and set the layer to soft light. Leave the fifth layer blank for now. And the sixth layer will be the diffuse layer you already set up. Click on the texture set settings tab and then select normal map and use P base normal map RG. The dinosaur should have a lot of detail now, but we're not done. In the same tab, select Bake Mesh Map. Uncheck all boxes except ambient occlusion, curvature, and thickness. Set output size to 4096. Click on curvature and set the drop down menu to generate from normal map. And slide the slider to one, then click Bake Selected Textures. This will take a minute. Click the Layers tab and set the second layer to fill and select the new curvature map we baked to be the base color. You can find this by searching in the brush area under textures for curve. And finally, set the layer to overlay and set the opacity to about 40%. Now we can use layer five or the second layer up from the bottom as our layer to paint our custom skin. I'm gonna do a quick red skin and then I'll go back and erase around the eyes, mouth, claws to reveal the original texture to keep those parts of the texture. Now we'll go to File and Export Textures and set our directory to a new one. Within the Unpack directory, I'll name it Red. Then set the output template to Document Channels plus Normal plus AO, no alpha. File type should be PNG 8 bits and floor size is set it to whatever the original diffuse image size is. In this case, 2048. And printing should be deletion infinite, then click export. Now what I do is open the new base color texture we made in GIMP, which is free, and use that to rename the file to original diffuse file's name. Then we need to copy pbase atrociraptor diffuse.tex to our folder with the newly renamed skin. Then we'll open the OVL tool again open the dinosaur's OVL file and click edit and inject. Then we'll select the TEX file, which points to our new skin file and select open. It will inject the texture and we can then save the OVL in the new directory our skin is in. Now all we have to do is copy the files we just created to the games. Dinosaur OVL location, click overwrite. Then just boot up the game and take a look at the majesty. You'll want to hatch your dinos with the Death Valley skin and blank pattern if you want it to look the same as it did in Substance Painter. You can use the other skins. They will just shift the colors around and the pattern will be the same as is in the game normally. We'll do another video on how to edit patterns later. Thanks for watching. And please click like, subscribe, and the bell option. A comment really helps us with the algorithm as well.